So uh, it's uh, it's really a great uh, a great pleasure to uh, have you today. It's uh, it's impressive, uh, and uh, I'd like to begin uh, by thanking uh, the. Uh, Ile-de-France uh, region and uh, Faten Idri to be here and to allow us to have this uh, amphitheater to start uh, the work of uh, Arij. So uh, just a quick introduction with the first slide uh, and you can see on this uh, map that uh, already uh, 35 countries are represented in this uh, arena and uh, we got a lot of uh, uh, marks of interest of many others. Obviously, uh, we are very pleased to see that European countries are highly represented. Uh, we are also very pleased to see that af our African colleagues uh, have massively answered to our invitation and uh, we thank them very much to be here and m more uh, said that they should like to come. We have also representatives from Asia, India, Singapore, we have representatives from South America, and several of our American colleagues uh, also expressed interest. Uh, the next slide is also to mark uh, one of the biggest uh, start uh, and uh, a wonderful aspect of um, our association, which is our diversity. And by diversity, you can see on this slide, and most likely I missed several uh, aspects, that we have delegates from academies, which is quite normal, from research institutions, which is quite normal, from sponsors, and we will return uh, on this uh, later, but also from regulatory agencies. Uh, we have uh, uh, numerous uh, people from various universities, but we have also associations, patient associations, professional associations, NGOs that are uh, involved, and uh, not that, uh, the, the less, uh, we have also industries. So really, it's the beginning of a forum, of a real forum, and we will discuss that all along the day, a real forum to exchange views, but more than exchanges views, more than to be a forum, a place for expertise, a place for engagement, a place for to create toolbox, a place to create uh, guidelines, a place to uh, make something new by uh, the ways of your investment, by the way of your engagement, and by some collaborative platforms that we are going to set up, and Luis will give you more about that. That said, uh, I'd like to thank the organizers, and particularly François Hirsch uh, and uh, Yamina Sadani that uh, made that possible, and I'd like to <laughs> applaud them for all the work all the work they already did. I'd like to say that also numerous peoples Numerous people are not in this uh, place today because their agenda didn't allow to be here. Some of them are presently in Dakar at the Global Summit. Uh, we had uh, words of excuse and support from Christian Wuppen from the EG, of uh, Christian Drummel, uh, 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 which was at the very beginning of, uh, of this uh, uh, story. A lot of support also from our American colleagues. Uh, Al Tacharo sent uh, a mail uh, that night, uh, Matthew Sporteus, uh, of other, for example, Robin Lowell Badge that would have like to be here or from Israel with uh, uh, Efrat or Otniel. So many more will be involved in the association. Uh, and that said, I let the floor to Faten Idri. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sir President of FinServ Ethics Committee, Dr. Um, Schneiders. Sir Professor Luis Montoliu, ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to Paris region. We are honored to serve you this morning within our semicircle, the place where we vote structuring decision for one of the most attractive region. Paris region represents 40% of the French research. We nurture and develop this heart of skills. 
That's why we support financially research networks, the domain of major interest which focus on subje subjects such as the quantum physics, mathematics, Islam in Paris region, infectious disease, aging, the air quality, and of course, gene therapy. The support for research is an important part of our regional strategy for higher education research and innovation because we aspire to become a world reference for science and technology. This political voluntarism is accompanied by a significant increase of the regional budget for science, a particularism which we are proud of. So, there is no better place to reserve you and to launch the Association for Responsible, Responsible Research and Innovation in Genome Editing, ARIG. First of all, I ask you to excuse our president of region, Valérie Pécresse, who unfortunately cannot be among us today, but who wish to assure you of her particular attention on this subject. I also wish to thank the National Institute of Health and Medical Research, the INSERM, instigator of this association. It's an honor to reserve the first academic institution of biomedical research in Europe. You have the mission to anticipate the bio biological and technological challenges and to accompany the evolution of medicine. You study cover all the field of human health, fundamental and applied biomedical research, cellular biology, molecular bio biology. For all of this, I want to congratulate you as well as on this initiative which brings us here this morning. The ethics committee of INSERM has a mission to promote a work around the societal aspects connected to the very fast developing of genome editing. After several international meetings, this process leads you here today to launch ARIG. The objective is to propose a comprehensive setting for a stakeholders, academics, private companies, citizens, and decision makers to allow the development of this paramount technology in a safe and socially acceptable environment. Since the 80s, numerous technologies followed one another to modify the DNA. Still more reliable and more precise, but never such a stage had been achieved. CRISP create a real leverage effect. The CRISP case nine system discovered by a French researchers, Emmanuel Charpentier, has rapidly become an unequaled precision tool for genetic engineering. CRISP is a flexible, affordable, and quickly controllable technique by the researcher. The laboratories and startup of the world size this technology with an incredible speed. However, the number and the importance of the question asked are vertiginous, ethical, moral, economic, social, and environmental. It is not simply a debate on the biotics or the transhumanists, but on social issues. It's a real political debate. The genome editing touch everything alive. Plus thus raise question about its application for humans, animals, and also in uh, its environmental sorry, impacts. The economic, social, and environmental impact which ensue from it are immense, especially on the European continent where the applicable particular rules are numerous. Across the Atlantic, the debate is inverted if vegetable modified by CRISP are considered a genetically modified organism, then no particular rule will be applicable to them. On the animal, the questions are also important and have nothing more theori theoretical, in particular on the statue of the breeding animal. So uh, I hope that uh, meeting today will be a, a great meeting for you. I'm very uh, impressed and uh, I wish you a good day. Thank you very much. Buenos dias, bonjour, bon dia, good morning, good morning. We're living in a complex world 
We're living in a world in which, uh, beyond English, we, spoke, we speak many languages. These are all, or nearly all, represented here in this gathering. And this is a meeting that we have prepared with uh, a lot of effort. And that's a different kind of meeting uh, for the types of meeting that we normally attend. We normally attend to congresses to listen and to learn. I'm not saying that we're not learning here, but we are hoping that you will be participating proactively from the very beginning. As uh, Herve Nibes and uh, others have said before, we are here to propose to all of you and to those that couldn't ma make it to stay here with us, to propose the launching of this association for the responsible research and innovation on genome editing. We think that uh, this is, uh, we're living an important moment during, during the evolution of these scientific advances. And thanks to people like uh, Francis Mojica and other researchers that we will hear later on today, we have now the capacity to modify virtually at will all genomes, including our own genome. So basically means that uh, we have techniques that could be of a great benefit for the whole humanity, for all, everyone, but we need to engage with everyone in the society. We need to engage not only with the professionals, those that we have the privilege to know all these details, but also those that, that op op potentially or eventually will be the, the destiny, uh, that will be the ones that will be receiving the benefits of this technique. We need to be able to transmit and be able to engage them into the discussion in order that, that they also feel part of the discussion. They also take part in the decisions. And I think it's great that we are gathering in a parliament, and I would like to thank Madame Fatenidri for hosting us in this very nice and impressive setup. I couldn't think of a better place for discussing about governance of uh, genome editing other than a parliament. Here we are in a parliament. And I'm really looking forward for a very intense and a very profitable and beneficial uh, day. I reiterate that uh, we would like to hear from all of you your thoughts. We would like to hear your opinions. We would like to hear your fears, your questions, of course, your answers too, because here we are to share and to try to advance and to progress into this uh, aim about uh, promoting this global governance on genome editing. So welcome you all, and let's get started.